players, Abby Grossberg, she that came through in the clutch, honey. I'm telling you, anybody that was ever on Maria Bartiromo's show or Tucky Carlson's show, they better be scared, especially if they was on there talking about doing some plotting to keep Frumpy Dump in office. Because, baby, when I tell you she got receipts for days, she got receipts for days. I don't believe this is all of her receipts, honey. Baby, y'all grab your tea and have a seat. She done dropped some more receipts on Fletty Cruz, and she also went on to MSNBC and talked about her experience on uh, faux news. So Abby, through her attorney, has handed over a recording of Fletty Cruz talking about this fake commission and how that commission will be able to keep Frumpy Dump in office. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. I think that the country deserves to have a, a credible assessment <laughs> of these claims and what the evidence shows. And the mechanism to try to force that is denying certification on the 6th. Who's deciding who, who gets inaugurated? It, it would be the results, results of that commission and what they find. And if they found credible evidence of fraud that undermines confidence in the electoral results in any given state, they would report on that. Literally pictures like this big of Nancy Pelosi in a bathing suit in Europe, plastered all over. Um, there was even one on my computer screen for the temporary computer I had to use, and I had to take it down just to work. Um, within a few days, there, I was called into Justin Wells' office with Alex McCaskill, who was a senior producer as well, and asked if Maria was having an affair with Kevin McCarthy. It was just, I, I was shocked. Early on, they had Andrew Tate on the show, and I raised my hand and I said, we have to be very mindful that this is two white males together. And I used the example of Gail King and R. Kelly, saying that she could go in a different direction with that interview, that I felt Tucker couldn't. And they weren't happy about that because they wanted to be a bro fest. They were all laughing about how fun it would be to go to Romania and hang out with him. They liked his messaging. So whenever I said something like that, it put a target on my back and gradually I was shut out of meetings. I had a colleague who was Israeli and they do this thing with HR where you become this global ambassador for Fox for the show and you get $10,000 essentially to represent the program as a diversity ambassador and the whole staff was white. So they recommended that he be that person because Israelis and Jews are minorities. And they first suggested it in a meeting, and then they brought it to him. Uh, I think he was shocked. And they said he could use that money to buy pizza for the whole staff for a year. Tucker was very set on finding an FBI person who was implanted in the crowd and spinning this conspiracy that they were ultimately the ones responsible for the Capitol attack, not Fox News, as they're about to go into the Dominion trial, that it was really, you know, the FBI that set up this thing, not Fox telling the American people that the election was rigged and the voting machines did it. I had really begun to connect the dots that the programming that we were putting on air every night was not just generating business but also generating hatred and baby abby is dropping the receipts like little caesar's pizza drop them hot and ready pepperoni pizzas i declare honey fleddy fleddy i know you scared i declare honey what a disgrace so players put your thoughts in the comments let me know what you're thinking about fleddy cruz and also what she said about her experience working with faux news this is double d mode for the black accurate news